In Photo Soundbite 7, we looked into three main metering modes matrix, centre weighted, and spot. The default for most cameras is matrix, sometimes called ESP or multi segment. They all do something similar evaluating individual segments of the picture area for a single composite exposure. But they are not the magic answer that sometimes we are led to believe and can easily be fooled. A classic example is a dimly lit view containing a single bright highlight occupying less than 20% of the view, such as a stained glass window in a dark church. Because of the predominance of shadow, Matrix will overexpose the window because it doesn't know that it also needs to be correctly exposed. Furthermore, the wide variation between highlight and shadow presents a difficult situation for any camera to handle without help. Our eyes will accept this view of extreme contrast without a moment's thought, but a camera cannot. Once a photograph has been overexposed, even part of it, correction in Photoshop is almost impossible. But spot metering off a highlight is one way of achieving a single correct exposure for both highlights and shadows. Basically, the technique is to lock the exposure for the highlight, then recompose before taking the shot. This will render the shadow areas underexposed, but unlike overexposed highlights, underexposed shadows can be corrected in Lightroom or Photoshop, but there is a caveat that will be explained shortly. At this point, consult your instruction manual for guidance, as not all cameras execute this technique the same way. I will describe the procedure for the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark I and II cameras. First, make sure that autofocus is set to single autofocus and not continuous. Otherwise, the camera will continue exposing and focusing, which is not required. If you don't wish to lock exposure with focusing, detach autofocus, usually from the menu, and focus manually as required. Set metering, of course, to spot. Now for the technique. Meter of highlight. Lock by half depressing shutter button and keep it depressed. This can be judged more accurately with electronic finders. Some cameras require the photographer to use the AEL automatic exposure lock button at this stage. Recompose if required and take picture. Highlight correctly exposed, rest of the shot underexposed. Correction in Lightroom or Photoshop is improved with RAW files, but in any case, noise can raise its ugly head. Noise is a visual distortion similar to grain in film photography, but in digital it manifests itself as specks of foreign colour, making the image look unsharp. Camera sensors and a range of photographic situations will present different answers and only experience will resolve the issue for each scenario. Another way of controlling contrast is HDR, High Dynamic Range, where the camera takes a succession of shots at different exposures and blends the best bits together in camera you will require a tripod to ensure that the multiple exposures are in register, but the file output may only be JPEG. 